thank you guys for being here today for this beautiful vintage cube draft. I will be your host, Michael B. And uh, what are we picking, little Jimmy? This pack's kind of like Tarn is good. What is? Deceiver X Arc is good. Tarn. Him to Torach is good. Signet is good. Derogatory speaker. What about Signet Pignet? I do like taking a Tarn. Let's let's stay open. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Oh, Mendel Misty. Man, I think I'm also more inclined to pick these because they're really pretty. Yeah, they're really good looking lands. Yeah, I'm just taking Tarn into Misty. Sure. Then nailed it. Then nailed it. No, 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 nailed it. You are you trying to get me to do the other part? Is there another one? Is there another part? Well, there's the m -m -m money shot. Okay. <laughs> Which is like the actual saying. You're just referencing that with the nailed it. You don't know what I'm doing, man. Buddy. Wait, wait my dad? Yeah. From the future. You're my dad from the future? Yeah. The, why are you, you younger out, instead of older? <laughs> exactly. What? Oh, bribery seems real good. Third pick. Build around Omnath though. I mean, I'd rather take bribery and get Omnath to table because no one's taking it. Are you ready? It was a joke. It's what's too hard to what's cast. funny about that? What's funny about that? It's, it's just too hard to cast. What's funny about it? It's I'm gonna take to excavator. Cast. Good for you. We. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. It's like. It's like I'm just telling you a random fact instead of something that's completely relevant to the draft or we're both in. Okay. Cool story. I'm not even alive right now. That's really weird. Do you need me to call someone or? What are they going to do? You know what? Nothing. Probably nothing. Exactly. Probably nothing. Got a Narset, which sets us up nicely for a Leovold... A time twisty. I think we're just taking Narset here. I like that. Gets our bribery. Sure, bro. I accept. What are you accepting? That you took that card. Well, that's good because it doesn't change. Oh, look. It sets us nicely for the Leovold. Now I just need the... Now I need to draw seven. Now yeah. I just need the ammo for his gun, you know? I guess I actually forgot that these two aren't the combo. These two are the combo deniers. Easy concealed courtyard. No, they are still Every the combo. You can't have one without the other. Yes, I can. We I mean, can, but it doesn't do what you want it to do. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Nope, still not. Yes, huh? Nope. Yes, huh? Okay. We have a good time. No, we don't. Agrees. <laughs> <laughs> well now we're in agreement oh are we just salt eye here oh, I like Vraska I also like cryptic command but triple you're blue never, is a little rough you're never casting that spell on your life I know and I have to learn I'm going to take Vraska because I think if we get like Oko or something Blessing learns every time shut what up in here? do they have the other part of the combo I like Sakura 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 what about Gonti you like Gonti you like Sakura Gonti Sakura is better. Ga Sa Sakura? Gandhi's really cool, but it's, it's double black. It's, slow. it's double black. It's double black. That too. Two black. Double black. It's not good. What not if it was triple good. black? Not good. It's worse. What if it was triple back Phyrexian mana? Triple back? Yeah, triple back. <laughs> triple back Phyrexian mana. You know? None of these cards are exciting to me, but I guess I'll take Tassiger just to stay on brand. I almost built a Tasker deck once, and then I was like, it's too boring. I like Archon, and hopefully I can get a way to sneak this bad boy in. Dothy and the Voidwalker in the cube? Maybe. Probably. Who knows? Some people know. Yeah, that is correct. Some people probably know. But we can't be certain. I can be certain. Can you? Prove it. Huh? Prove it right now. Prove what? Prove that the, someone knows it all. What? You heard me. What? Produce the evidence. 
Evidence of what? Do it now! Tazzy Girl Lily has bananas? Yeah. What? Remember that time Tasker got murdered by the dragon and became a flesh necklace? A flesh necklace? Yeah. Jesus. I guess when you put it like that, it's a little more brutal, but... The master of death. I like Jace, actually. That's a good That's a good discard outlet. You're right. Yeah, let's take a Jason's. A Jason's? Don't go Jason waterfalls. They stick to the rivers. I'm probably taking mind twist. Yeah, we're 100 percent taking mind twist. I'm looking for some lands that go well with the color combination I have leaned to. You toward. can never have them. I am. Uh, I am. Uh, this, is, this is gonna be salt that hard mode. You're gonna have amazing cards, but it's gonna be hard to cast them. Never mind. You got rewarded. Stupid dummy. <laughs> Which one though? Tough choice. Uh, breeding pool can be gotten by both of them. Overgrown can only be gotten by one. Would you say both of them? But, but oh, what up, Medina? Funky John Medina. I think I'm taking overgrown here. No, really? I'm taking breeding pool because I think overgrown has a higher likelihood of Vista coming back. Oh, I do like Vista. I also like La Lonnie, La 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 Lonnie Cryptozoologist. Oh, no, are you adding the Y and? If you take the S off, it's Lonnie, is it not? But why would you do that? Because I want to call it Lonnie, so it, I can. Did you get it altered? No. Maybe one commander deck. Oh, also Vista's play. good with, uh, we have Ramunap Excavator, so. It's also good with casting your spells. He's going to be like this. I guess if you have no basics, it's pretty bad. It's natural order to anything? Not really, no. Gilded Lotus could be decent, though. Yeah, I'll guild. Oh, wow, it was going to take the natural order on me. I caught oh verdant catacombs. No, no, probably not good enough. Yeah, I don't think it makes the cut. <laughs> yeah, blooming marsh. Oh, look at did you see they added Magus of the Order? Because like they were like, you know what? There's not enough natural orders in the cube. Let's add one more. Let's make one that no one will play. Yeah, I'm just like it's a three three for four that you can't activate until the next turn. And you still need another creature. It's like, come on, man. It's pretty bad. What up, Medina streams, folks? John, always good to see you, buddy. Always a good I think the only reason you might play that card is if you want to make your deck worse on purpose for power level and commander. That's it. Oh, wow. Big raid. Big raid? Yeah. Some of you big raid. Oh, Bolander with the raid. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really. 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 I'm going to take this. Is this card any good? Who knows? Is Exhume any good? Maybe. We got Archon, Woodfall. I'll take the Exhume. We can Exhume. Master Death is pretty meh. Do you think I'm above Exhuming, Michael? Because I'm not. Did I ever say you were? Yeah, it feels like you thought. It feels like you thought. Bet. Oh, Hissing Quaggles came back. Kozilek came back. Eureka might be decent. Mm. I mean, we have Shielded Archon Woodfall. And you know what? I like taking things like Eureka because they're fun. Okay? So I don't need your judgment. I don't need your lectures. You may not need them, but you're going to get them. Oh, look, look. The Overgrown came back. That's pretty amazing. Congratulations. Just like I said, Verdant Catacombs. Overgrown, Misty, Breeding, Blooming, Prismatic, Vista, Scalding. Like, this is a great... I guess you're just going to cheat and make it easy to play your spells. Okay. <laughs> okay. You can't keep getting away with it! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, man, did you find out how much real does money does this cost, a stack of paper? No, why don't you find out? Why don't you do... Why don't you do it? Okay, one dollar. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Uh, sucker. No, you're right. I'll give you one, two, three, four. I'll give you $10. One for each. That's a banger. I just 
up my offer by 10. This is what I have to deal with. Every day. You know? There's no days he doesn't live in the house. So it's like, God, every day I just got to wait. He wakes up. And this is what I got to deal this with. This pile might actually not be much more than 10. Okay, bro. Listen, you don't got to be insulting. What if I take Iona to go with this Eureka? Matt, yeah, it's probably a little more. I think Stronix. I'm going to take Iona. I'm not taking Lonnie. But it's your favorite card. It's, I know it's... Lonnie the Bo Bobani. Snoogle Boogles. You yeah. know? No. Look, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Duh. No. <laughs> All right. Got him. He did. He really got me. It's unbarrel, right? It's probably fine, right? We have makeshift mannequin exhumed. Maybe we're a... The only problem I'm seeing here is Jace is your only pitcheroli, you know? Oh, pizza roll? Oh, wait. Tassiger is a pitcheroli. It's, like, really expensive, though. Tassiger is definitely not a pizza a pizzeroli, which sounds like an Italian calzone. Why is he not a pizzeroli? What you're gonna you're gonna pay? Okay, you're gonna pay X mana for Tasker, probably like four because we don't have a fast deck. Mm -hmm. And then the next turn, you're gonna pay another four mana to do mm -hmm. that, and hope one of these is on the top of your deck. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it was good. <laughs> I mean, you made a. I told you like we could cast Emrakul in two turns in the other draft, and you were like. That's like a million years. You'll never do it. Now, all of a sudden, Tassiger is a good pitch outlet for our... You never did it, so... I know. That's what... Still waiting. Let's go. I <laughs> got him. You need to <laughs> shut the hell up. Ooh. I like D-Toots, but I like Bayou and Simic Signet. I think like your mana is good enough to be greedy for, for Demonic. For Demonic? I don't even like Tassiger. Get out of here. That's sad. He was your best friend. Demo's good. Yeah, I'm taking the Demo. As Rob would say. I was like, Whippa, Slippa, I'm losing my grippa. Ask about my vax. And then... So <laughs> well it's, done. It's not, though. But what if it was? You know? You ever just think about that? I don't think about anything about you. Sad. I thought we were friends. Yeah. That's what I wanted you to think. Stupid. You'll think about me when I break all your... When I am break all your G.I. Joes. <laughs> I am break all your G.I. Joes. This pack's also good. We got Southern Library. We got Remand. We got Grimmy Manolothi. Rifty Time Warpletudes. I think I'm just taking Grim here. I think it's Outer Library. What does Grim do, though? Bribery turn to Lotus. Playing for a Lotus doesn't really make a lot of sense. Why? It's three mana every turn instead of three mana once, and it's colored, which is definitely good for our deck. Right, but it's like paying for mana to make mana that's the same mana, you know? <laughs> but you spend three mana to play a, a Worn Power Stone, which only makes two. Right, but one of those cards is garbage, and the other ones aren't, so... Which one's the garbage one? Power Stone. Warm Power Stone's not garbage. It's pretty bad. No, it's not. It's not great. It's just fine. What are you talking about? You sound like a crazy person. It's, it's, it's man. Can I get some backup here? Because this dude sounds like he escaped the loony bin. <laughs> but I think it's just Mystic Confluence, bro. Or Eureka Progenitus, huh? Man. I just want to go Demo on turn turn two or three, and then Eureka on turn four, and put all of these fat things into play. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty wholesome. It'll come back, though. I'm just going to take the Mystic Confluence. Time, do you know? Oh, they got an old border Kusali? I didn't even know about that. Look at this ugly Lotus Cobra. It's not the original Zendikar, it's and it's not, not the, the cool Showcase. One. Yeah, Showcase is a So bang. what do you even do? But Lotus Cobra seems really good with, like, four fetch lands, so I'll take it. Well, I don't think we're upheavaling. I don't think I care about this guy either. Why don't you give him a try? He's he could be your new best friend. Maybe we upheaval. You did pick up a monolith. Oh. Did I did, little Jimmy? Oh boy! Oh boy! 
What do you think the pick is here? You like Circle of Dreams, Druid? That's that name is way too awkward. Yeah, I would never, I would never pronounce it that way. I'm just taking B Sanctum. Would what, would say, you, what would you say? I'm playing this Druid. I'm play Cod. Cod. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny. I'll you're, play my Cod piece. You're a fun. It got less funny. <laughs> And more I would awkward. just play. I would just say. I would just say. I cast Cradle Man. Cradle Man. Mm -hmm. I'm your Cradle Man. Y'all Cradle Man. Just like there's that enchantments, and I'll just play. This is oh, my Cradle Enchantment. <sighs> Make a one one. I don't think you got enough bugs. You don't need any bugs. There's no bugs to. Yeah, but it's cooler if you did. You know. Yeah, scratch your little chest. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. This pack is kind of meh. I'll just take Gargadon. It's another... Oh, oh, the Bayou came back. Oh, so did Signet, though. I think Signet might be better, really enough. I don't think so. Veto. But it ramp. You know what else ramps? Exactly. Oh, Euro came back. That's actually pretty sweet. Especially with Ramian App Excavator, because we can just, uh... Oh, the Progenitus came back. That's pretty sweet. Oh, you can reanimate Grist. That is pretty cool. Right, but he's going to be on the battlefield, right? So, like, why would... Not if he's dead. But if you're activating his ability... Okay, you know what? I actually have basically no idea what's on Grist. I just, I just said things. I know he like he's like a bug, right? But then like he makes bugs if you mill yeah, and there's more job. bugs. You're doing good. If you keep hitting bugs, they just keeps making more bugs. But if you, you take don't take Gilded Lotus out, then you have no bugs. God, you're really just still talking, huh? He also makes some sacrifice thing, I think. I'm gonna take Narset out. I'm not too actually Narset hits a lot of things. Like Narset hits Eureka. Fauna Shaman can go. You suck. I, I hate Fauna Shaman. I hate it. I hate Fauna Shaman. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this is getting weird. I hate it. Man, you didn't even pick up a wheel. God. I know. What I feel terrible about myself. Why even play it? It? Evil. Are you stupid? Yeah, it was a joke. It wasn't funny. It's still really good. Nothing you said is funny. You're not a funny guy. <laughs> Buddy. What? I'm fucking lie. What do we play? Let's what do we play? Bone shards. Because I need to cut a card. Why do you keep making me add cards? A joke. The I don't think Vrask is that very, very good in here, actually. Look at all these lands. We get I feel to play like Eureka all might be a little loose, but... Loose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you sound... I mean, it, uh, I don't just know. Just so stupid. I just feel like the setup's all not right. Right. Well, we go One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, green. That seems good. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black. And then blue, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you got two white, which is pretty cool. I'm going to cut one green for one more black. You might want to consider cutting the planes. I will definitely do that <laughs> and add the that green of... back. Would you into it, but I didn't. No, I didn't even hear. I wasn't. Sometimes I don't even listen to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because <laughs> it just hurts too much, you know. All right, I gotta go to bed now. You're gonna miss out on me eureking people. Yeah. <sighs> this is like this is really just unacceptable. Look, man, this is the work. It's what I do. It's what I do. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh man, boy. Boy. Okay, see you later. I hope you don't. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Well, now it's just me and you guys, huh? Okay. How's that? How's that curtain looking? Oh, dear. It's coming back for the cup. I'll keep this. Sure. Makeshift Mannequin Archon of Cruelty you seems good. What are you saying to me? I can leave it for you if you want. I can leave it for you. That's really what you want. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> oh, boy. He's drunk. 
We'll get an overgrown with this guy. Oh man, you ruined it. You ruined it. The curtain. It's not good. Yet when you put it back, it wasn't it's not good. Oh my god. I hate him. I hate him so much. All right, well. Hold on. Yeah, there's not enough room back here for like everything that's happening. He's gonna fix it. Yeah, just fix it. God. Just got a baby and I'm gonna fix it? Buddy? Yeah, that's all I had to do. Get me three seconds. How many? Three seconds. How? Huh. huh. That's wild. Are they just gonna kill us for this guy next turn? One, two, three. No, no, they're not. They're we're good. Okay, so I kind of like Excavator here, even though Leovold is probably better. Because next turn we get to disc we get to play Verdant Catacomb and um reanimate the Archon. Yep. All right. This seems pretty decent. Mm, yeah. I mean, we're taking four. We're not going to block this guy. So. Uh, pitch Archon. That's good. We didn't actually. It's pro instance, right? Yeah. That's not great. Grab this. So if we go one, two, we have three, four, five. We need one. So I guess that's not going to do anything, right? Let's, I mean, I'd get a breeding pool, but it puts us at eh, significantly lower life. So I'm just going to get this. Oh, they have to sacrifice this. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh boy, that's a that's a spell right there. Oh, and we can get rid of the shieldred. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, we definitely could have waited until they like paid some mana, but they could have remand. They could have anything. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What up, Yale? Thank you. Uh, let's pitch a shieldred. Uh, hmm. Oh, Shanala Cerberus. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Are we just going to get to trigger this? No, that seems too good to be true, right? If we played Leovold and they had a spell, they would have just played it in response. We also could have played a land to cast our Mystic Confluence, but... E what are their modes? <laughs> oh, wait. Mm. Um, oh, wow. They don't get to draw anything because this counters the spell. <laughs> That's actually fantastic. <laughs> yep. Wow, that worked out surprisingly well. Yeah, they should have picked another mode, like bounce ramming up excavator maybe. Yeah. This works out actually better because if we played Leovold, they would have countered Leovold, bounced this, and drawn a card. And they still would have drawn a card. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. 
this game has been going quite well for us. Let's say that. Yeah, how you been, my dude? Let's play cattle combs. I'm very bored. Oh, dang it. Uh, let's crack it now. I will actually get a breeding pool. I will pay two. Um, I feel like I just want to keep Mystic Confluence up, but that doesn't seem great. We 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 could probably want to like mill their hand, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, let's not let's not mess around here. One, two, three, four. So I actually could have put Breeding Pool into play tapped. That would have been good, right? I mean, they had Slime and Circle of Dreamish Druid, which is not the best, the best combo. Yeah, what's the deal with Ashley being in Canada? Is she coming back? Yes, Michael. Don't forget Wally. Hey, man, man. Where is he? What? By himself? Yeah, I'm gonna post a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so sad by himself. Um Yeah, we'll flip Jace here. Uh we can just discard Misty. Lands in the graveyard are pretty cool because you just play him. Just play him from the graveyard. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can play Grim Monolith. And then play Leovold, and we're actually one away from Mystic Confluence at that point. I mean, I feel like we're far ahead, but it's also, we have a lot of things to do, so. She was back tomorrow. Oh, okay, good. I wasn't sure if it was like a Canada don't have my thing, but I guess our, you guys are officially married, right? So that's not an issue anymore. How come you didn't go? Is it because, oh, is it because of traveling restrictions? That would make sense. Um, so now I think I am going to play Grim Monolith. Keep up Mystic Confluence if we happen to need it with Grim Monolith, because I don't care. But if we don't need it, then we just get some some sweet mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Sometimes you can play like Gargaroth plus Mystic Confluence, which is pretty good. Now I'll just crack this now. Verdant Catacombs. Like, there's no reason to play lands from here. So go to Nah, I don't know what we're doing. We're just going to attack first, I guess. Get a swamp. One, two, three, four, five. Gargle Reno. Okay, pass. And still got Mystic Confluence up. All right, that'll do it. Well, based on their deck, I definitely feel like Eureka is probably fine. So I'm not super concerned with that. Honestly, I just didn't feel like it. I had too much work on Yeah, I know that feeling. Where I'm like, dude, I just don't have it in me. You go do the thing. This is Tri Builder into Euro. Turn two, we'll have turn three, we have four mana, and we play Euro. And we have five mana. I'm just curious how quickly we can get out Shieldred. Or that thing. I was paused the stream. I thought it was a YouTube video. Okay, there's a lot of creatures here. All right. Uh, yield until next end step. Oof. Ooh, big oofs. Is it going to be Progenitus? Do they have Hex Drinker and Progenitus? 
They have the protection for everything theme deck. No, it would definitely be a much easier choice if they had Progenitus. So I'm going to assume they're just going to have something like Primeval Titan or Terastodon. That's my guess. <laughs> she could only make it to Indianapolis before she got too tired. I assume she drove. How long is the drive? Oh, Avenger of Zendikar with only three lands. Um, block sack this guy anyway so we have green 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 blue blue black black I'm just get another blue that's interesting one two three Oh, that's pretty cool. So we can bribery here. I mean, I don't have a way to get these guys into play, but I can get overgrown too here. No land. That's good for us. Yeah, 16 hours in a new car is definitely tolerable. I drive Katie's car, and I'm like, wow, I don't even realize how fast I'm going. Like, I'll be going, like, 80 or 90, and I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't even realize. Because, like, her suspension, and, like, it's so smooth. Whereas, like, in my car, I would definitely notice it. Uh, I'm not going to pay the life. Excavator. Let's play around. Something, who knows what. Interesting. Questing beast. Crater hoof behemoth. Oh, I like acidic slime here, actually. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, man. I kind of just like taking crater hoof, but that's not going to do anything. It might be just acidic slime to take them off the blue. It also eats an Avenger. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, that's really, wow, that was very good. Holy crap. So now we can go blue, blue, green for excavator, play our land, Maelstrom Pulse this guy, because we can right now. Frack our land, get a breeding pool, say no. And next turn we can just cast Archon or Shield Red. Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, Maelstrom Pulse was a nice draw there. Oh, a goose. A little goosey. Oh, the places you'll go, little goosey. Hmm. So the thing is, we don't have many great things in the graveyard. I'd rather have play this, have it die, and then get it back with Shieldred. Two, three, four, seven, eight. So they are going to sack a plant, I assume. <laughs> but then they discard a card. That's cool. Plant is colorless. Oh, yeah, now it is. Yeah, I missed the confluence in hand. That makes sense when you had a single blue source for like a million years. Two islands. Island, forest, sure. Put the forest into play for free. Put the island into play for free. 
My predictions are not going well. Wally. Oh, that's Hunter, I think. So this guy just gets in there? That seems good, right? Well, we can't reanimate Euro every turn, right? Oh, with shoulder, do you mean? Yeah, we could probably do that. Well, we're going to attack first and assume they don't have an answer with two forests. Then we're going to draw Iona. Are you ready? Oh, Lotus Cobra. It's actually like a good amount of mana. So we can go blue, black, Lotus Cobra, uh, Verdant Catacomb, green, track this, blue, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can go one, two, three, four, Shieldred. And Jace. Okay. You got it. Make that food. I feel like this game is over and has been for some time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If they pay seven, they can crater hoof, but then they only have one attacker. Yep, okay. Well, that did it. Oh, all right, that was quick. Things are happening. Oh dear. Oh dear. Jace Vryn's Prodigy, huh? Oof. Nothing like Vintage Key to pull you back in, buddy. You ain't kidding. Uh, no blockers. Let's go this guy and Devoted Druid and hope we can play Gargaroth next turn. That's the dream, right? Dream is alive. Not gaining life is rough, let's be honest. I mean, we can always bounce this guy to gain three next turn, right? That seems fine. Uh, I did not skip through turn one. I did. Wow, they played for. I thought. I thought they played first. Wow, that's terrible. This game would have been much different. Wow, I could have sworn they played first. I guess I'm dumb. That's pretty bad, and I'd like to apologize to all of you for the decisions that were made. playing land a 
Let's make another beast. So we can go to seven, but we have Mystic Confluence up here, which is pretty nice. Which means we can like bounce their Ferocidon. Uh, I have not seen the Amazon game. I assume that's the MMO. All right, let's see what happens. We might be dead. They have five mana. There's a lot of things that are happening right here. We got a land out of it. Okie dokie. Let's return three creatures. One, two, three. Creeping soul. Let's make sure we. One, two, three. Mm. So we're going to gain. Oh, I actually. Oh, fuck. I meant to gain life. Oh, that sucks. Yep. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah, I meant to gain life. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I mean, actually, it's not terrible on this board to have two three threes. And they're at eight? Yeah, it's not the worst. Ferocidon doesn't have haste. That's fascinating. Sure, sounds good. Uh, one, two, Jace. Maybe we're fine. Yeah, we actually would have gained six. If they didn't have Rampaging Frost on board, we get, we get the block three and then we get the other three. But I'm pretty sure we're actually doing just fine here. We go to seven lands next turn. Okay, you're going face. Sure. I mean, we know you have Ferocid on. Yeah, that's fine. So I think I just want a second black here just in case. Draw like shield or something. Oh, well, that is a thing. So one can, if we, if they go block, block. What? That's wild. Let's see what you have. I we I mean the alternative is like keeping lumbering falls up so we can double block but if they have Inferno Titan or something, we can just kill them. So 
I don't know. Maybe that was correct. Maybe it wasn't. Shriek Maw seems really good here. Oh, man. If we can get an early Iona <laughs> named Red, uh, it seems pretty solid. Um... Narset seems a little too slow. I do like Vraska. It both gains life and it destroys their three mana creatures. Same with Bone Shredder, actually. They got Mind Twist. And... Oh, what up, Curvaceous Kitty? Um, maybe we just take out Bribery. Like, maybe we just got lucky there. Like, I don't know. The odds of them not having... <sighs> this hand's rough. It doesn't do anything till turn five. Uh, this hand is much better. I do want to keep Gargaroth. I think we can ship Tudor here. Yeah, actually, this is great, because if they don't deal with Lotus Cobra, we have a turn three Gargaroth, which is pretty good. Oh, well, that's pretty good. They are definitely getting aggressive here. All right, fingers crossed. Cool, and we take three. Are these numbers blurry or is it just me? Yeah, that is a good one. Let's draw another card. Plus four to activate. That's pretty good. Wow, this is insane. What a draw. There's the Iona. Yep. I mean, we're going to be at three, and there's nothing we can play next turn, so. All right. Let's see if being on the play is any better. I mean, Bone Shards is fine, but I don't know if I love discarding a card to it. Actually, I mean, actually, it's probably pretty good, to be quite honest. This hand is great, though. Wow. It's actually pretty good because it lets us discard things like Woodfall Primus or, or what have you. Uh, let's play this and get probably i don't think we have any double black cards that aren't like that are expensive shieldred and archon i think are the only ones meanwhile we do have double green and double blue cards so i'm just gonna get breeding pool here uh -huh. Let's play this guy. Actually, we can get a black source. That's kind of good. Sure. We're just going to play Leovold, but I think that's still... F I think we'll just take one here. If we're just playing Leovold, we can wait a turn and prevent two damage instead of one off of something like a Muta Vault. Leovaldo. I have successfully turned to China Ulmogged and destroyed a Library of Alexandria. Proud of you. 
I don't really want to attack here. Like, they're not going to block, so they take one. But then, like, if they kill this, then we take a couple more than that. So, dis yeah, okay. Take four. I will draw. Codus Lobra. So next turn we can play Codus Lobra. Verdant. Actually, it gives us a lot of land. A lot of mana, rather. Yeah, still no blocks, because now Tribal is just better with Lotus Cobra, so... Yep, play Rampaging Frostodon, because can't never have that guy. That's for sure. Hmm. Well, play this guy. Sure, you got it. Crack this guy. No, I don't think I want to crack that guy yet. Green. Take on black source. Green. One mana shy of playing Devoted Druid. All right. So what is this next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like next turn we can play Woodfall Primus. Antibody, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for the supports, though, my dude. Really appreciate it. If they kill, I'm just going to triple block this guy. If they have a removal spell, it probably kills one dude. Oh, they guess they can go burn and then Grim Lava Mancer, and that's pretty bad. I'm just blocking here. I'm not sure this is any better. I don't think it is, but... I also think it's pretty obvious that they have a burn spell, like a removal spell. If it's char, I mean, we might be fine. Or we would have been fine, rather. Triple block the Rampaging Ferocidon. They kill one thing, they still trade. Flame spell. <laughs> Wait, you're killing the... That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. Green. One, two, three, four, five. And we're getting close to low life here, so it's not great, but... Green. Sack this guy. Forest, green. Let's get rid of that den. So now they can actually Grim Lava Mancer kill this guy. Attack with this, we go to four. I don't know. And that's what they did. Come on, Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, this card's just really fucking good. Like, obnoxiously good. Sure. Huh. Fashionably late to the party. I think we're still dead. They actually kill this and attack with all three. We block one. They have one card in hand. 
Maybe it's a land. Man, my kingdom for a euro in the graveyard right now. Yep, exactly what we were expecting. Okay, we are now at one life. And that does nothing. Okay, well, always, always a pleasure, Mono Red. Always an absolute pleasure. Well, let's see if we can two one here. I think our deck is sweet. I don't think it's I don't think it's like tier one or anything, but I think it's still sweet. We can't get another blue land here, so we're just gonna get overgrown tomb and still play Leovold on three. Also, it's funny that the one game I skipped my first turn. Uh, was the game that I ended up winning, so. Interesting, just running that guy out there, huh? That is fascinating. Yeah, we're gonna play that now. Leovold into Maelstrom Pulse, into Gargaroth. Sure. Green, blue. Hmm. So I get to draw a card and play Gargaroth next turn? That seems good. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. A wild Chorwit has entered the chat. What up, Chorwit? Chorles McWhittles, the third. One, two, three, four, five. He's a fat daddy coming to get you. What are you gonna do? I guess you're gonna play an oblivion ring, but I got a maelstrom pulse for you. Okay, I guess I'll take four. Oh, one, two, three, four. Huh. Hmm. Good mind twist them. That feels correct. And then play breeding pool tapped. We go to five, which I think is safe when they have no cards in hand. Two, three. Uh, honor. Oh, yeah, this Elspeth would have definitely. Oh, yeah, Honor would have been good, too. All right. So we're taking this. One, two, three. So next turn we can go kill this for four. Um, yeah, actually, that's fine. <laughs> That's not a thing I care about. All right, so they get one top deck before we get to start going cool, 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 crazy with Elder Gargaroth. No blocks. 
Fingers crossed. Your top decks are not... Here, this one, two, three, four. Jace the Mind Sculptor, huh? Yeah, just going to play the land that's going to come into play tapped anyway. Why wouldn't you name... Oh, you can't. It's not land, isn't it? Yeah. It's, they can't name. So they get Council's Judgment and kill us. That's fine. Obnoxious, but I mean, we should be gaining enough life each turn that it's not super relevant. They can they can sneak in for two, but we're going to be gaining three every turn. So, mm, that guy's not bad. Uh, let's gain life. Two, four, six. Uh, yeah, that's a good deal. They have no cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, having the the white deck on three mana instead of four is pretty good. Shuts off your Gideon, shuts off your Foreman Elspeth, your heroes, Hero of Blade Hold. <laughs> That's kind of funny. If only we had a way to discard that. Yeah, I mean, they still take five here, so it's not really a trade target creature you control okay so they can't mother of runes our elder gargaroth if we reanimate it we can still get bayou and some basics here should have just played three white sources that you can fetch and then we could yep see that's the reason we um Yeah, that's the reason four mana is really, really good. Give the Bayou. I would like to become the monarch and then also get my Woodfall Primus back. <laughs> Seems good. Yep. Cool. I wonder if they think keeping this guy alive doesn't get our creature back because that is not how that works. Mm-hmm. 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 Forest. Island. And our hand's pretty rough right now. <laughs> Draw an extra card. Oh, that's very good. Never mind. Hand is much better now. Gain six. Seems good. Yeah, that's going to be the end. All right. One down. See, against things like this, I'm like, just bring in the Shriek Maw, bring in the Bone Shredder, bring in the gold, the Vraska, which kills Oblivion Rings. Iona, I still think is pretty decent because she can, if we end up discarding it and reanimating it, take out Bribery, take out Eureka. Actually, you know what? I'm still hoping for a Eureka moment. Take out the Narset and just play 41.
Hmm. Eh. Not terrible. We got to get a breeding pool and search for tomorrow. Oh, they're good. They have giver of runes and mother of runes. Double runes. And if we hit a land, we get to Grim Monolith, which is pretty cool. Or Tribelder. But really, we just want to hit land Eureka, right? That's all we want to do. And then go Iona, Leovold, Woodfall, Primus, Jace, <laughs> Sikura, Tribelder. Okay, well. Okay. <laughs> None of the things we wanted happened there. That's good. And now we have to actually pay a mana for the search to resolve. Yeah. Um, just going to get another green because if we hit any land here, we can try Belder and we do not. So we take three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Seven goes to six. We can discard Iona here and then we block here. We take five. I don't know if this is any good. If we have to hit a black source and then exhume, but. And then we have to actually play something else. <laughs> yep, we go to six. Oof, yeah, that's probably going to be the game. Yeah, all right. All right, let's play first for the two, three, two, one, two, three. It's a five round draft. Thank you. Well, Odysseus, what up? Thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to keep this hand because I don't care. We'll get there. I'm confident anything we draw is good, except for Iona. Were they really? Oh, they went to five? <laughs> Okie dokie. That seems good. That seems bad. Three fetches, huh? Not great, Bob. Ah, oh, everyone here is doing well. I hope you're doing all right as well. How's Canada treating you? Good as usual, I bet. Strip mine, huh? Buddy, <laughs> I got news for you. Let's get a swamp here because we have a ton of blue sources. <laughs> My God. Oh, Lord. Play this guy. I just want to thin the deck a little bit. That's wild. It's pretty grand. <laughs> Glad to hear it, my friend. Glad to hear it. Of course. Our draws so far have been literally land Iona. <laughs> Let's go get a overgrown tomb. That's nice. ASM number one. 
That is a solid choice. Um, I'm just going to play this here. I'd rather, like, if we draw Mystic Confluence, I guess we can't play it anyway because of the stupid Thalia, but... Hey, little chief. But they're not really doing much anyway, so I'm not super concerned. Oh my god, this is insane. Open on six lands, draw literal three lands, Iona. Like, what? <laughs> Someone explain it to me. Uh, CGC 4.5 to 5.5 .5 is not a uh, detractor when you're talking about a book of that pedigree. Like, that's actually a very solid grade. Um, we want to get a Bayou here because it's the last land we can search for. The last dual land. Plus, like, we don't need Blooming Marsh. We have one, two, three, four, five, eight mana already. So, like, we could just never put this into play. I'd rather just thin the deck a little more, even. All right, so I'm just getting by you. <laughs> yep, gotta keep doing it. Go to 11 here. I mean, they have the opposite problem where they just don't have enough lands and we have all the lands. So, I guess there's... <laughs> I guess there's balance. Let's get our second blue. Island. Someone stop, stop, stop. If you want to come up here, you can, but don't scratch the chair. Hey, that's not bad. I mean, watch, they're going to path it <laughs> for two mana. They didn't. Shh. It's being real loud. I don't know if you guys can hear him. Actually, I don't think you can. I mean, I'm probably going to block, right? There's no... I don't think there's any, any combat tricks here that they can be. Uh, did I find the job? I did, get a, I did get a new job, and that's what's been preventing me from streaming more regularly. Yes. Oh, wow. Big fat... Oh, that's, that's really good. One, two, three, four, five... Yeah, we're just going to hard cast this and kill their, their Thalia. Wow, I'm really surprised we're not in terrible shape here. That might actually be good for them, though, because they might have, like, two mana spells that they were locked out of, but what are you going to do? I'm not going to leave Thalia alive when we have six power on board. Yep. Okay, that's fine. They could have cast that anyway. Oh, that's really good. Discard Iona, makeshift mannequin white. How much does a mid-grade ASM, ASM 1 go for? Probably around 7 to... Anywhere between like 8 to 13,000, <laughs> I would say. Um, oh, Hunter just kicked the green screen. Like you do. Between 38 and 43, is that correct? Am I way off? I mean, that seems like ASM, that seems like Amazing Fantasy 15 numbers. I'm like checking right now, see if I can find anything. Oh yeah, wow. Maybe I'm just insane. There's no, what, wow. 
Has this book spiked recently? I feel like that's got to be a newer price because that seems way high. Yeah, taking four goes seven. Oh, also Jace flips too, which is pretty sweet. So, yeah, I think Iona on white here is gonna be <laughs> gonna be the game. We also just want to play it on our turn because we don't want them to cast anything. We can't we can't do it in response to something. Oh well, that's pretty good, I guess. Um, draw a card. Oof. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. We can do for five. No, for four. Right. One, two, four, five. So yeah, we can get them for five. For four. Why do I keep saying five? One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I think Bone Shredder just might be better here. Let's kill this guy. See if they sack their spirit. Oh, it doesn't matter. We did get the 2 1. Thank you guys for watching. Does Flip Chase let you cast the card from the yard? Uh, it lets you cast it from the yard. A ASM is Amazing Spider Man. And the new gig is I'm working on a. Um, well, I'm working, I'm doing game design and character design for a company called Scopely, which is pretty sweet. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so. I can't guarantee I'll be as consistent with streaming and uploading, but uh, I'll definitely try. I uh, will likely be playing a lot more of the Vintage Cube, so definitely check those out as well, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.